Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making Unisub Chromalux panels. The real neat thing about this product is that you can mix them up and you can make them as large or small as you want. Just order the two ends and you can insert as many middles so you can really expand on your product and what you offer your customers. So let's get started. The first things we're going to need today are I have blank panels, hinges to assemble my panels together. You can press them all put together or separately. I prefer separately, but either way works. I have the image I'm going to display, heat tape, and a couple sheets of protective paper. Our first step is going to be removing our protective film, and a quick tip is if you find that it's hard to get the film off, or you want to be sure that you just don't tip the corners, you can stick it under your heat press for about three to five seconds. Not enough to completely melt it, but you'll see that the plastic film starts to bubble up, and sometimes this makes it easier just to get a good grip on the film. So what I'm going to do first is peel back on this. I've already put it in my press just to give myself a little bit of a cheat sheet. It's a big help. And once we remove our protective film on all of our panels, our next step is going to be aligning the panels. Now it's important whenever you're doing multiple pieces that you pay attention to which ones are your end pieces and which are your middle. And so I'll place my end pieces on either side. My last piece is going to be my middle panel. And like I said, they can be hinged together if you so choose. The next step is going to be securing the panels with heat tape. I want to make sure that they're firmly in place, but just as a personal preference. So I never really try to get any tape on the sides of my product, and I just try to keep it directly on the back, just to make sure that all sides of the product look very nice. I'm putting my last piece of heat tape on my panels, and with those in place, Ready to move to my press. I'm going to place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom. I'm going to grab my panels and flip those. Add another sheet of protective paper on the top. And I have my press set at 400 degrees. We're going to be using medium pressure. And I'm going to hold it there for 75 seconds. You can adjust your time and pressure, rather, for your machine. Um, I find it's best for a minute 15 using this press. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift and swing away on my press. Move my top sheet of protective paper. Peel back a transfer. All my panels off. The color on these turned out really well. And the panels are just slightly hot, so I'm going to move them to the table to cool. I'll give them just a couple of minutes before I apply the hinges. We're now ready to begin the assembly of our panels. And I've already done two of the panels, just so you can get an idea of how it's supposed to look. And then our last step is placing our hinges into the panels. So what I'll do is I'll place the hinges into my panel. Normally try to start and work with the corner. It makes it a little bit easier for me to find the groove. You can either put them both on the same side or not, however you choose. I've already placed the hinge in this panel. So be sure to line it up.
We just finished the assembly of our panels and you can see how well it turned out. These are great personalized gifts that you can give your customers. And like I said, you can buy more middle pieces so you can add to them. We have different sizes and different styles. So I've brought out a couple additional unisub panels for you to see. Get different ideas. You can do something as basic as just the two. We've got large and small sizes. You want to be sure to check out our website for our full line of Unisub panels as long as the rest of our products and services that we offer at Condi at Condi.com. And watch more of my videos at Condi.tv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems and thank you for joining us.